MIDI controllers come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from regular keyboards to pads to guitars and even orbs. But if you feel like reliving the childhood traumas of learning the recorder in music class in elementary school, you now have the possibility to record all your MIDI with a digital wind instrument by Carry On Instruments, a digital recorder with BLE compatibility. This digital recorder comes with 10 built-in voices. A 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and an internal speaker so you can start shredding some sick recorded tunes straight out of the box. But I won't really talk about the standalone mode right now. But if you're interested in that, you should definitely check out Sarah Jeffrey's review on this instrument. I'll leave a link to that video in the comments below. But in this video, I will talk mainly about the MIDI capabilities of the digital wind instrument. So one of the most interesting things about using different instruments is how different instruments can give you different ideas. So when you're playing your main instrument, your fingers often fall into the same patterns, making you do the same musical ideas over and over again. And by using instruments you're not familiar with, you can come up with brand new ideas you wouldn't have thought of using your main instrument. So when I first heard of the digital wind instrument, I thought it might be fun to brush up on my fifth grade recorder skills and try out some new ways of inputting MIDI. In order to use this recorder as a MIDI device, you have to connect it via Bluetooth. The micro USB port is only for charging and you can't connect to your computer via USB. So if you have a PC, you'll most likely use some sort of USB Bluetooth host in order to connect the device to your PC. I'm using this little Weedy Plus Bluetooth host and that works fairly well. But if you have a Mac, you should be able to connect it directly to your Mac using Bluetooth. And it does connect very easily to tablets and mobile devices. And it works great with apps like GarageBand and other instrument apps. Once it's connected to your device, it immediately starts sending MIDI. So you can just go ahead and start playing straight away. It uses standard recorder fingering. And in case you need to brush up on your recorder fingering skills, it also comes with a chart showing you a few different forms of fingering. You can also switch to a simplified fingering, which makes it way easier to switch between the three octaves. Now the recorder is pretty responsive, but the MIDI does introduce a little bit of latency. It's especially noticeable when the volume of the recorder is turned up and the VST you're using is using a quick attack. And not that anyone would probably think so, but this does mean that it's probably not the best device to record drums. So here you can see we start the tone here and the drum sample is only triggered here. But when you're using it together with more melodic virtual instruments, especially ones with a slower attack, you can create melodies in a very intuitive way using your own breath as an expression control. So this is actually one of my favorite features with this instrument. And this is especially evident in the Virtual Instruments by Spitfire Audio, where you can change the expression control simply by blowing harder or softer. And it's actually a really nice and intuitive way of controlling the expression for, for orchestral or cinematic instruments. Now obviously this instrument is monophonic, so you probably won't use it for laying down chords, even though you can of course overdub. But if you have already laid down some chords, you can overdub with for example one high pitched note, so that you can control the expression. And the MIDI clip will actually save the expression, so even if you delete the one note you overdubs, you'll still record the expression in the chords. So there you have it. Quick little intro to the Digital Wind Instrument by Carry On. Personally, it will probably obviously not be my main MIDI controller, but it is a fun little portable instrument that can actually give you quite a lot of ideas. 
And it's also fun to use it together with a WIDI Plus MIDI USB host and hook it up with my hardware synths and little groove boxes. But I definitely think this instrument is more for people that have wind instruments as their main instrument. But it's still, it's fun, easy and accessible. So I still might continue to use it. So if you're interested in supporting the channel, you can use the affiliate links to buy the devices seen in this video. And a small percentage will go to me at no additional cost to you. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. And in the meantime, you can check out this video right here where I compare keys and pads to see which MIDI device works better for you.